Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube, my name is Dr. Rice, also known as Dr. Mitch, and today we're back with another video talking about the dangers of dehydration. Water makes up the majority of our bodies, including our cells, organs, and our blood. Two thirds of our entire body is actually made up of water. So you know what that means? We're essentially walking oceans. Staying hydrated is not only important for being metabolically healthy, but it's also really important in order to achieve and maintain a certain level of optimal performance. It's actually said that an estimated 75% of all individuals are dehydrated at some point throughout the day. We hear the word dehydration a lot, but what exactly is dehydration? Well, it's a condition that occurs when you don't have enough water in your body in order to carry out basic functions. Even mild dehydration can drain your energy and make you feel really tired. The symptoms of dehydration can vary quite extensively from person to person. Some people may experience barely noticeable fatigue, whereas other individuals may pass out due to hypotension, also known as low blood pressure. Although this is sort of more from lack of salt intake than water, but that's a discussion for another time. Other symptoms may include weight gain from decreased metabolic function, headaches, brain fog, dizziness, cramps, as well as decreased overall immune function. This all sounds a little bit scary, so how can we actually make sure that we're staying well hydrated and getting enough water into our bodies every day? Well, there's two major ways that you can tell if you're getting enough water into your body. The first way your body lets you know that you're not getting enough water is by increasing the level of thirst that you experience. And I know this seems pretty elementary, but it is your body's automatic way to tell you that you need to drink more water. This is controlled by a specific part in the brainstem known as the hypothalamus, which also regulates other factors outside of our conscious control things like blood pressure, sleep, and hunger. And the second way your body lets you know that you're not getting enough fluid is by the color of your pee. Yes, that magical golden fluid that streams from your kidneys. The main role of the kidneys is filtering a lot of junk that eventually leaves your body in the urine. The amount of junk that gets excreted at any given time from your body basically determines the color of your urine. When you're dehydrated, your urine turns much darker than when you're hydrated. This is because the body is quite intelligent and senses that you need to retain as much water throughout your body as you possibly can. So all that junk that gets removed from the body only has a little bit of actual water in it, hence making it a dark yellow color. On the flip side of things, when you're well hydrated, the color of your urine is usually light yellow to even clear because your body has so much water already in it, it can afford to lose some extra water within the urine. Now, if your urine turns a darker or an unexpected color overnight and taking in more water, being well hydrated, isn't altering the color of your urine, that's a good reason to take a trip to your local healthcare provider. So in order to make sure that you're staying well hydrated throughout the day, you want to take in enough water so that you're never thirsty and that the color of your urine is always light yellow to clear. One thing that is really important to mention, water consumption is highly variable from individual to individual. How much water you specifically need may not be the same for how much your spouse needs or how much your friend needs. This depends on a myriad of factors such as overall body weight, basal metabolic rate, as well as your overall activity level. Grab that bottle of water, take a few swigs, and make sure you're always staying well hydrated. It's really, it's, it's really good for you. Thanks so much for sticking with me through to the end of this video, and as always, I will see you all on the next one.